first I want to teach it using the D string instead of the I've got a drop D tune you know with the E down to the D so I can do the sounds really neat that way but I want to teach it to you first with the, the D string right there I'm gonna I'm playing out a D instead of doing a D like this I'm gonna just I'm gonna I'm gonna take everything off except the ring finger and I'm just gonna put the middle finger right there on the second fret of the G string so I've got <clears throat> and I'm not really playing the E string with it at first. There's times I use it, but not a, not as a chord really. So first thing I want to do is I, I have I'm kind of muting the uh, the D with the palm of my hand, and I'm I'm using the pick, and then these two fingers act as a pick singly. I'm not doing separate things with them. I'm using them at once, picking two strings at, at a time, uh, every time on this. So the way I want to do it, I, I do first the pick, I pick the uh, D string, kind of muted, like that. Not, I mean, I can't open it up, but it kind of sounds cool when you're playing it to play it muted, then kind of open it up for a, a louder. Like if I want the song to open up, I can open up and let the mute off. But uh, kind of sounds cool muted too. So. You kind of mute the D string, and then I'm going to uh, use, using, like I said, all these times I'm playing double stops or two notes at a time are going to be played with my middle finger and my ring finger. Uh, so they act as one pick, not separately, but just as one. Every time I pick notes with them, it's two notes at a time. So here we go. It's a D string muted one time, and then uh, I want to play these then back to the muted D so it's then I want to play the uh, first fret on the B string and the G string open and I'm gonna hammer so so I'm picking those and I hammer back to the position I was already in so it goes like this I'll do it slower Now, and what I'm doing is I'm not allowing these to constantly ring over everything. I'll kind of kill them. And the way I kill it is actually with, with these fingers that I'm actually picking with. When I go to pick the D string, I'm laying these back down up here at the, uh, at the hole where I'm playing. Just kind of lay them on there so that it mutes the strings and they don't ring over top of the next time I hit the D string open. So it's... So far we got, okay, so what I did, I added the muted D again, so it's, so you see that I have that at the end of it. Then, then I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play, I'm going to leave my hand where it's at, and I'm going to play the, the D, I mean the B string and the E string, but I want to put this on the first fret and as I play them you can see how I just I leave these two where they're at but I slide the the uh, pointing finger up to the second fret so it's then I'd play the D string again so it's Then I play that again. Okay, so. Then, then uh, D string again. Then that, which you're familiar with. So it's. And then uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do it slow again for you one more time. D string again. All right, I added a little more to it, so I'll play it slow, and I'm going to add the next thing we're going to add is these two again. So, so what 
what that sounds like. Then I'm going to add this. It's like a starting a new phrase of this whole lick. That's what we got so far. Then we're going to go start again in a sense uh, like this. That much is the same. So I'll play everything slow up to there. Let me play the whole lick so I can get it in my head. Okay, so here we go. Then you. Okay, so. Uh, then you. And then hold that so then you play it all that again. No, I actually play the first half of, of that whole lick again. So Here's what you got. Then you play this. So that's a uh, third fret, B string, first fret, and uh, Okay, then uh, the second fret of G string, then back to the first fret of B. And then I'm going to play the second fret of G again. And see how I pull that off? Second fret, first fret off. So, then uh, D string, third. Then G string up. So. Okay. Then third on the D. There. Second fret. Open. Do it again. Third, first, second, first. The pull off. Then third fret. G string open. Open. This was a third on the D. Second open. Then uh, the uh, A string open. Then uh, third fret, D string open. Then uh, quickly slide the third to the fifth on the A string. So it. So I'm gonna play this whole lick from the top slowly. Okay. All right. What well, I end up in the way that I transition into that lick 
because I just ran into it myself thinking, you know, all right, how do I actually get into that lick? Playing it slower is a lot harder than playing it faster for me. So uh, uh, I go. So right coming up on that lick, I, I just. Then. Okay, here we go. Whole lick. Now, here's where it gets cool is if you're using instead of using the D string open, you use the the drop D. I mean a drop drop D over the E string. That one instead of using that. So you just use the pick on that all the time. So, that's what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. 